Howdy folks, Country Boy 360 coming at you. So, uh, I'm going to do a little video today on my fleet and what I think my plans are. So, it's been a while since I put out a video. The last ones I put out, I was actually out in the salt water. And, I, you know, I'm not, wasn't sure if I was going to keep my channel going or or what. And, you know, just the other day I had somebody reach out to me through YouTube. And then I realized what I actually really started the channel for. Uh, I'm not trying to get monetize and make money i'll never monetize mine uh having a thousand subscribers and meeting the requirements for monetization is a goal but it's not to make money off of youtube uh i don't I, i'm not doing that uh i'm a retired slash disabled vet i i don't need that or want it so uh today's video is just going to be me talking a little bit i'll show you the my fleet my kayak slash boat fleet show you my little area here uh and then hopefully i'm going to be getting out and chasing the kokanis and the salmons and stuff like that and getting back into the groove of this so it's kind of been a little bit rough i'm going through medical issues i'm trying to get stuff straightened out with the va with that and everybody knows that just it takes a lot of time so uh we'll have to see how it goes so first uh, I'm a little disorganized, but not as bad as some people. So uh, I'll sh give you a little quick spin around, and then uh, I'll show you what I've done to my my kayaks and stuff. So, all right. so over here on this wall is where I keep all my Plano boxes. It's got my bait and stuff in it. And all those have. Uh, you know crank baits and stuff like that and then these up here are empty they used to have plastics in it but they're empty and then on this is just like boxes of little extra stuff i have and the same down here and then down here is this extra stuff like all my fishing clothes is in this and then over here is this extra stuff and then i have stuff hung up on pegboards over here and i got a little over there and over here is just all my you know stuff i'd used to work over here I got a few rods. These are basically the rods I take out in the salt water. You know, extra life vests and net and stuff. And then up here in the ceiling, I got rod galore. Light's probably gonna blind you, but I got rods all the way down to there. I don't know how many I got. So then this is my garage. So first I'll show you my this is the compass. You know, there's videos on YouTube about the compass. I haven't done anything else. Last time I went out, actually my last video, I think y'all see me flip. Uh, when I flip, uh, the only thing that happened when I flip was I got water in my NK180 controller. And I'm waiting on that to get uh, fixed. Other than that, nothing bad happened. But before that, my fish finder actually didn't mess up. It was not due to flipping. It actually something fried on the inside. So I just got that and got it fixed back. So, you know, that's the ocean one pretty much all I take. And I hang it up. It hangs on this rafter right here. So it's down now because this morning I was fish fixing rewiring the fish finder uh had it unwired when i was troubleshooting it when i was actually out camping on the ocean of course there's my level six dry suit it's great now here's my boat it's a 14 foot low i believe it's a musky i looked it's a nine it's a 92 or 93 model i can't remember and uh you know we didn't know what kind it was from the guy i bought so I went through all the Lowe's books from that time, and the only one that has this floor plan is the Muskie. So I'm assuming it's the Muskie. So I've done some work on the trailer. You know, all that stuff has been all worked on. So what I've done to it is I put this aluminum deck on it. Uh, there was no deck here. Aluminum deck so I could run the motor guide XI3. Uh, so I'll got to put these up. So that's that. I got a 100 amp hour battery right here. Uh, it's, I'll just run one battery on this boat. I'm not doing anything fancy. It doesn't mess with my having my fish finder and everything hooked to it doesn't mess everything up. So that's the way it is. Uh, you know, seats on the swivel base. Not sure what to do with that. I run the Scotty or Alpha and Omegas, I believe, because they're really easy. When you got a fish on, you just pop it and it works. This is for when I have somebody in the boat with me. When I don't have somebody in the boat, I'm by myself. 
like on the downrigger. And then right here is the middle bench, the back bench. I run two Scotty 1085 strong arms. I got my Raymarine Element 7, brand new Tahatsu 15 horsepower four strokes. Literally got two hours on it, six gallon tank. I put my net in here. Uh, you can see right there is my control panel. Runs my all my lights, my fish finder, runs my bilge pump, and all that. So just a little quick overview. I'll uh, go. I'll give a in more in depth video of it. Maybe I'll do all three of them in depth. And then here's the PA. So this is the big boy on the trailer. Uh, I've done a video on this one, I think. Right now it's set up for uh, set up for trolling. So I had to move this, but you can see how I just have these little Scotties and they just click in. So I run two rod holders, two of the little Scotty Lake Trolls. I put this here when I'm not fishing because I like to leave my hatches open. But you know, it's fully wired, got all kinds of crazy stuff. Right now it has the NK 180 on it. This is the one that is in operation right now. Uh, just waiting on them to send me something and been the weekend. It's uh not gonna be you know i'm not gonna get it right now but that's that's cool they're uh they're working with me they're doing really good i do have boondocks on this uh the only time i use the boondocks is when i am doing really really light stuff and i'm going down a really smooth ramp which i do a lot most of the time i launch it out of, off the trailer though uh, but sometimes it'll be busy and it's just easier for me just to wheel it down and when i also have two of these i got the homie cartwheel and i have this one i go amazon it's made by bonaloo or something and it you know you can see it's got the and it worked good so all of them work but you know that's pretty much you know what i got going on and you know we can go around and get situated here so i'm just trying to figure out what to do so a lot might be binding you just trying to figure out what to do uh, what i want to do and you know with the channel and keep it going not keep it going you know i i don't know i i really don't know it's like sometimes when i do it it's it gets too much because you're out on the water and you're trying to have fun and then you got extra stuff to do and i'm like okay is it worth me doing it is it worth the extra stuff and then I go out fishing, I come back and I don't have a video of it. And I'm like, man, I wish I'd had a video of that because, you know, that would have been nice. I mean, I went out, I just got back in the boat, spent a week fishing with friends for sockeye salmon and put 20 sockeye salmon in the boat. And I don't have not one single video of it. It would have been a great video, uh, not only for maybe somebody to watch, maybe some ask questions, but it had been a good thing for me to have for... You know i could look back on you know next year when the sock guys running you know where was i fishing what was the weather like how deep was i you know it's a good way to keep track of everything so i don't know i just gotta figure out what i want to do because right now i'm kind of lost so uh it looks like i've taken up about nine minutes of y'all's time which is probably about eight minutes and 30 seconds too much so uh i'll hop off all here and see if y'all have any comments or any uh, advice and uh i'll talk to y'all later and y'all be safe get out there and go fishing enjoy life take it easy